So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to the link, which will be down below in the description. Now, once you're on this, you're gonna scroll down. Then you're gonna get the download for either 64-bit or 32-bit. Depending on what operating system that you're on, you're most likely gonna be on 64-bit. So now, you're gonna download the one that you need. For me, it's gonna be 64-bit, I'm gonna download it. It's now gonna start downloading in five seconds. Wait for this to load. And now the download should have started. If it did not start, then you wanna click here, which will then start the download for you. Now, once you downloaded that, you wanna right click on it, and then click on show in folder. And then once you have this in our folder, you wanna right click on it, and then click on extract all. You can untick this, and then click on extract. And now we're gonna be having this folder right here, Qt5 core, double click on it. Now you wanna find the Qt5 core DRL file. You want to right click on it, and then click on copy. And now once you've copied that, now for the second step, you wanna click on this PC. Now you wanna find the drive where you have Windows installed on. It's gonna have the Windows logo on it. Now you wanna double click on it, and then click on Windows. You want to scroll down till you find System32. Double click on System32. Then you want to right click and then paste it right here. And then continue. And now you want to go back to Windows. Scroll down again till you find Sysfile64. Double click on it. Do the same thing. Right click, paste, and then continue. And now you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.